Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're out here this morning. This is our experimental sweet potato garden. Uh, we got a late start on these. Um, and we're just, this is totally an experiment for us here in the Deep South. We've mentioned it before on some of our other videos that we fertilize this ground real good. We put the sweet potato slips in and the plastic down. Guys, we've done nothing else to them. We did not water them. We've not cared for them in any way, trying to see just how resistant these things are to growing in the deep south on plastic with no maintenance. And literally, it's been no maintenance. And we've had a drought this year. So, and then the pigs one time got loose and eat them off. And we really don't know if there's even going to be anything under them because since they had to come back from being eat off. So we're going to take you along on this journey of digging up sweet potatoes out from under plastic in the deep south that's had no maintenance. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to go through and take all the vines up. We're going to feed them to the pigs because we don't waste anything here. And then we're going to come back and take the plastic off of it. And we're going to dig these sweet potatoes up, guys, and we're going to see what's actually here. You will see it when we see it. Okay guys, we got a whole bucket full of pig food here. We're basically gonna call the pigs. crazy underneath this plastic. Spiders and bugs I've never even seen. Big old roaches and everything. Worms. Worms. Beetles. Uh, roly polies, beetles, everything is running around here. So it must be some fertile soil. Spiders everywhere. So, okay. We're going to start down here. We're going to come back. Got a potato. Got one little one. Potatoes, good size. That's mostly pig food so far. <laughs> Some little potatoes. Okay. Because the hogs eat them off, I don't know. Whoa. Woo! Look at there now. Oh, 
what they should be looking like. I'm not damaged the potatoes. So we got some some good ones <laughs> on occasion. had to eat them off. The, original ones the ones that they didn't eat. I believe is the ones that's actually making the potatoes. The roots are growing on these things. I mean, the roots are unreal. I don't know that I've ever seen roots like this. Uh -huh. Another one gets nice. Got one sticking up out of the ground here. I gotta be careful. I don't want to break it. <laughs> Good size one. Nice. Another piece of one. Okay, guys. Right here. I don't think there's anything there, was it? I don't know. No. I can see where the water was at, but something right there. Yep. Well, there was one. Okay. It must actually made a little something. Okay, guys. It's time to make a verdict on whether we want to do this or not. First thing we want to do is look at what we found. What we found was we have tons of roots this long, like 16 to 18 inch long roots here. Everywhere, there's just long roots tied on the bottoms of these plants. We believe that was because the pigs eat them off and it was so dry afterwards the plants were trying to get started again, so the roots were going deep. This was a carrot bed. It was dug about 16 inches deep. We believe the roots were running deep trying to hunt moisture. Because we told you, we didn't water them, we didn't do anything. But the few plants that the pigs did not eat off, we found these big old potatoes here. And one there, I broke it off digging it up with a fork. These old big potatoes, like this. These were on the plants that we, um, you know, that the pigs didn't eat off. So, guys, I'm going to tell you something. I really believe that at Deep South it's going to be worth it to put them under plastic because there was no maintenance to this whatsoever. And, I mean, these are... These are good bacon potatoes. You know, we was in a drought this year. This is a good bacon potato. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Wanda and I make a lot of sweet potato fries. These potatoes like this here, perfect for that. Looking for some slips to plant, save for next year. These little potatoes, these little long slender ones, perfect for that. So, and I know y'all probably hear a helicopter in the background, guys. They're doing something behind me back here. They're either spraying or fertilizing or doing something. All this stuff like this is not going to be thrown away, guys. All these roots and then all these little uh, end pieces or crooked potatoes and stuff like that, that all goes to the pigs. That's still feed at Deep South Homestead that we don't have to buy. 
So we're not actually losing anything here. Um, I think the experiment went good, the fact that we did nothing. I think if we was to have drip irrigation down underneath the plastic, that we could put a little fertilizer in and we could water them once a week, I really believe these things would, dr would grow to be enormous. It was very simple to take the vines off. They were not rooted to anything other than the potatoes. It was very simple to pull the plastic back. It was really a simple procedure. And now my ground has no weeds in it. It's perfectly clean. We're getting ready to put carrots down this coming week. And guys, not having to weed is worth it to me here in the deep south. So we will probably do the plastic thing again. I think it will work. If we can come up with the money to purchase the plastic this year for next year, we're probably going to do our gardens in plastic and put the drip irrigation under it if we can get a watering system in. Guys, it's worth it. I believe that the sweet potato experiment has proved. I mean, look at this. On the tip, I mean, look at that. That thing's over 12 inches long. You can't beat a sweet potato over 12 inches long. I mean, that's... If, I, if we was to bake that, Wanda and I could both eat a meal off of that. So, I mean, there's... That's well worth it. Well worth it. So, yeah, from this point forward, the Lord willing, and we have the finances to do it, we're going to put the plastic down and we're going to try to grow some under plastic because I think it was a, I think it was good. There's another video out there from BW Family Farms about growing sweet potatoes under tarps. Um, they done a fantastic job of harvesting out. They harvested 600 something pounds of potatoes out under using tarps. I believe they'll probably do it again because it was low maintenance for them. Guys, it's worth it to grow sweet potatoes this way. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.